in social situations. <laughs> or natural. As Hi. Yo bestie, I literally feel like it's been so long since I've picked the camera up, I won't lie because your girl's been in a little bit of a pickle for the last week or two, I think it's been about two weeks. Firstly, I'm so sorry if there's any noise in the background, it's because my washing machine is on because today was bed sheets day, so of course I had to strip everything off, throw that into the wash this morning as soon as I woke up, but besides that, today has been a very chill day, today is my relaxing day, we're gonna do nothing, I think it's time for some updates, a little bit of a chit chat because it's been a while since we've actually gotten to talk first update ta-da <laughs> Oh, it's so hideous. As you can see, I'm currently wearing the summer 22 release of Prada's brand new shoe wear collection. I'm joking, I fractured my foot. I don't even know how I managed to do something so silly, so, so silly, when I'm home alone and everything. Your girl decided to try and break in a cardboard box because basically, you know how like recycling bins get collected every two weeks? By the time it's two weeks down the line, my bin's like overflowing and I get a lot of cardboard boxes, a lot of deliveries, some PR packages, etc. So I need to like kind of fold up and like obviously cut cardboard boxes and recycling so that I can manage to wait the two weeks before it's collected again and I mindlessly decided to try and break in a cardboard box with my foot I didn't want to go and get the scissors so I decided to use my feet very smart Ejem my foot kind of got caught and I tripped and luckily I actually held on to our fencing because we've got like a little fence and if it wasn't for that I would have fallen like face flat onto the floor but luckily I did not fall but I did end up fracturing my big toe got it checked out went to the hospital got this beautiful boot that i need to wear for the next six weeks the hardest part is i cannot work out for the next four to six weeks and they did say that it will probably take a little longer to gain like full function of my toe after the six weeks but at least it's just one toe but it has been so hard to to not work out when you're so used to like a specific routine and like doing the same thing every day it can be really hard to like not do it now yes i can work out upper body and like arms which i have been doing here and there but it's not my favorite thing to work out your girl loves a nice hit workout where i'm jumping up and down and everything it's hard to not do that and just just sit all day well i'm not sitting all day but you know what i mean and that has got me thinking i probably need to get into some more hobbies these days i really do because i'm bored <laughs> I'm bored at home. I think I need to find some new hobbies. I have been getting back into reading. We'll get back to that, but update number two. I actually had an exam last Wednesday. I did not pass my data interpretation exam first time around, so I had to do the reset for that. It was a strange thing. I feel like no one really talks about like resetting exams. And even I was initially like really upset that I hadn't actually passed because I was like, hmm, I actually felt like that exam went well. But that's the thing, whenever you feel like you done bad, you end up doing so good and whenever you feel like you done good it can be vice versa but it's okay it's normal did feel like well, am i the only one and then i realized when i spoke to so many more friends and i actually was like in a group chat with loads of other people who were in the same situation as i was there was like 200 plus students who were in the same boat who probably all felt like they were the only one in that situation but just goes to show that when you actually speak about these kind of things you realize that you're not the only one and it actually is a very normal and it's kind of sad because i was only off by one mark throughout summer i was slightly preparing for that and like getting work done whilst i was away and when i got back obviously because it was closer to the actual exam i patterned i went hard for revision mode the last week and a half leading up to the exam and now that it's over I have way more time now so I feel like my foot was kind of like a sign from the universe to just like sit down and do work I have so much time on my hands I want to do some stuff like getting back into watching some series I want to get back into reading also want to do some more baking because obviously that was all put on pause also I know it was like results day a few days ago so to any of you getting your GCSE results or your A level results i hope you're having a blast i hope you're having a good time hope everything is going well also at the end of the day 
results aren't everything guys results and grades aren't something to value your worth on even if it doesn't go to plan there is always another route there's always another option there's always something you can do take me as an example i took a gap year i had to defer my uni offer i just reset an exam it it doesn't matter how many tries or how many times you need to do something or what different route you take like it really doesn't matter it's just about getting to where you want to be at the end. The end result can be so much different from what you first initially planned. You could have an idea to do one thing and end up doing com something completely different and be so much more happier and that is what is important. I feel like I'm rambling but I hope I am making sense but it's just, please guys remember, just remember that. It's currently my clock has died and so whenever i look up at the clock it's like wrong it says it's four but it's not and i keep forgetting and every time i look at it i'm like what is four it's only like 2 30. i've already had my breakfast literally just been watching a new k drama since the morning extraordinary attorney boo loving it so far i'm already on episode nine <laughs> And I also really need to finish this book. I got my laptop back. I ended up having to obviously get it fixed, which was a hefty penny. It breaks my heart, but it was obviously cheaper than buying a brand new laptop. Yes, I love Apple devices, but boy, are they expensive. I did also realize how nice it is to just have a laptop because I love my desktop upstairs, but it can be really depressing to just sit at the same spot for hours and hours, especially when I'm like editing, because it takes so long, eight, nine hours sometimes. So just sitting there and staring at my <laughs> plain white wall, very depressing, very depressing. And also very, very painful because my back and my butt end up hurting. Just opened up a cute little PR package from Trilogy. So thank you so much to Trilogy for sending these over. They are like the cutest or natural skincare brand. And I love trying out new things. I feel like everyone's used to using the same things that they love. And every time I'd see something new, I'd be like, I really want to try that out, but maybe I'll, I'll just buy it some other time and give it a go. So when I get new products to try, I love literally get so excited and it's so strange that I get PR now and like gifted stuff like it feels so surreal so thank you to Trilogy for sending those over I cannot wait to try they've sent the the everything balm vitamin C moisturizer the hemp hip balancing oil love that love that we'll let you guys know how that gets along PS how cute are these flowers Ta -da! I swear fresh flowers always lift up the mood in the house. Makes the house feel so much more homely. These are my favorite flowers. Are these daisies? I mean, they look like them, but I feel like they probably have a different name. Like they're probably a different kind or species of daisy flowers. Lunchtime. Do you think I could add cottage cheese to this? Why not?
since I had some time to kill I thought might as well make use of the puff pastry that I had bought because on my last grocery shopping order I realized I never really experiment with puff pastry I did not expect her to turn out this beautiful like this looks so so pretty mix some feta cheese with some cottage cheese because I thought it thin it out and it actually did it was actually really nice and like smooth so I whipped that up together and then just topped off with some tomato and I also did add some balsamic glaze because tomato cheese and balsamic go hand in hand I didn't know if I wanted like savory kind of lunch or like a sweet lunch so I did also make some mini sweet cream cheese and fruit danishes I think they're danishes these are the sweet treat ones got some raspberries some blueberries and also some peach ones in the oven right now so I think I really want this one though so oh this looks so good and my camera is flashing red enjoy mmm oh wow might have to take some to my neighbor that is so good and I have a lot so Second coffee of the day. We have an iced one. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. It feels so strange to just chill. I don't think that's normal. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person like this. I love being busy. Like I love having a lot of stuff to do. But then I also get really overwhelmed and I'm like, oh, I just wish I could do nothing but sit on the sofa. And then when I have nothing to do, I get bored and I'm like, I wish I had something to do right now. It's like I can't be happy either way. But I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who's like this. Should I watch a movie? I feel like rather than watching something, I prefer to just scroll through the different stuff that's on Netflix and just like, not channel surf either. What is it called? Just like surf through what there is. This coffee is so good. I feel like we're having like a little bestie date today. Just chilling together. When I think about why I actually chose medicine, I wonder if it's because of all the like doctor series that I watched as a kid. That's probably a large part of it, I won't lie. You know what I want to do? I really want to do some pottery. I really want to try out like a pottery class. There are some that you can go to like social pottery where you can just choose a piece, paint it, and then they just like glaze it for you and you get to pick it up. I'd love to do that with some friends, but I think I really want to go to an actual pottery class on my own where like they kind of teach you to, I don't know, throw and like hand make some stuff as well. That would be so cool because I love bowls. I love mugs oh my god i love mugs i love like ceramics so imagine how cool it would be to make my own mug and breakfast bowl because i feel like this is quite obvious i am a bowl and spoon kind of person i love eating something with a spoon in a bowl so whether that be my oats or my weetabix or my granola or acai bowls usually my favorite foods are stuff that i can eat with a spoon i do also really like to eat stuff by hand it would actually be so cool if i could like book that in hmm i used to love drawing as a kid all my old drawings are probably upstairs not me just yapping on about myself. I feel like I just like stuff that makes me fiddle. I used to love making, oh my God, remember when loom bands were a thing? I used to make so many bracelets with like loom bands, like proper intricate ones with letters and everything. Oh my God, that was such a thing back in secondary. I loved loom bands. I'm just wondering what else I used to be obsessed with. I get fixated on stuff for like a long time and then I never do it again. So it was the same. I used to even do knitting. I used to knit. So I've done pretty much most of the stuff that you can think of. Let's just say I like stuff that require manual dexterity. I love fiddling. I'm starting to ramble because I'm bored. Let's read. Oh, it's about to get bad, isn't it? That was just too perfect. I've 
had this for how many months now and it's just been sitting in the cupboard waiting for me to start on my room renovation so that I could actually set it up at the end but I, I think I really need to do it now it's like a cute little corner shelf that I was planning on putting here in the corner because I actually have a lot of stuff on my desk at the moment and I feel like it takes up quite a lot of space and it's just easier to work with a more empty spacious desk <laughs> Incredible. I won't lie, it did take me over an hour, but I am pretty chuffed with that. Like, I feel like that looks so much better. I love it. I love it. Time for the best bit. Let's just, you know, decorate it a little bit. Let's decorate it. This isn't complete right now. I think there are a few things that I want to get. Like, I really want, like, a nice hanging plant from Ikea for the top bit there. I might just pop that back onto my desk later. But I think this looks so amazing. I love it. Definitely have so much more desk room now. Um, obviously, this is going to go away. Pop the plant over here in the corner. Also have my iMac on some books, which I know isn't the safest thing. Not very stable. I definitely want to get, like, an acrylic stand for it because it's just so much more ergonomic for my neck. But for now, some Colleen Hoover books will do, that's fine. As for the shelf, just have the 100K pack up top, then have this cute little plant and a candle, some books and my vlogging camera, well, my other camera that I use and an SD card that I have that's spare, the cute candle that I have. I get a lot of questions about this. This is actually from Ikea as well. I love it. I got it a couple years back, but I'm pretty sure it should still be available there. And also this cute little cactus I have needed to suck up all the negative energy of course we don't want any of it and then lastly this is just my voiceover microphone along with like a little pop filter but I would definitely say I think this looks so much better it's so much more clean and organized now because my desk before felt very overwhelming even though it took a long time I'm so happy I've done this right now the rest of the room we'll do it in pieces okay we're gonna do it in pieces anyways guys I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I'm actually very knackered now because that was was actually quite demanding physically like I didn't expect it to be that labor intensive but it's okay I hope you guys have enjoyed having a lazy-ish boring day at home with me doing nothing kind of well you know what not every day is gonna be fun and exciting and productive and that is okay I'm just glad we got to spend it together today with that being said if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you guys soon in a new video Mwah. bye It is so cute.